Okay, let's talk about the HTML5 Clipboard API. Now, this is something that was added um, as part of HTML5, the ability to listen for copy, cut, paste events. Um, probably one of the most common things you'd, used to, you'd be used to seeing is when there's a code sample on a page somewhere and there's a button for copying that to the clipboard and then you can paste it someplace. We can see here in this little code sample that uh, I've got a for each loop that I'm running through. Actually, sorry, down here, here's the actual code that's running. Um, I've got an array with cut, copy, paste. The for each loop is running over that array and I'm adding listeners for those three events cut, copy, and paste. These are actual events that you can listen for on the document object. Um, and then if the event type is paste, so if this is run and I've done a paste operation, then what I'm doing is I'm actually going to fetch the data that has been copied last or cut last and I'm going to write that out in the console. So the clipboard events, cut, copy, paste. These have a property on the event object called clipboard data. There is a set data and get data property. The set data you would provide a MIME type, so text slash plain, text slash HTML, and then the second property is the actual data that you're putting in there. Uh, to retrieve it, get data, and then you just provide the type. I can say text, I can say HTML, whatever it is that I'm, I'm fetching. Now there are some limitations to this. Um, getting this to work cross-browser used to be a real nightmare. It's still not that fun. Um, but what we would do down here as the example, when I click this button, what I'm going to be doing is I'm getting the pre-element. The pre-element is the thing that has this content inside of it. So I'm getting that. I'm getting its text content. So this is what I'm going to copy right here. When I click this button, I'm fetching that content. Then, to be able to do the copy and paste cross-browser, you have to create an input element. There has to be an input element and it has to have the focus on the page for the copy and paste operation to work. So, I'm creating an input element, I'm adding it to the page. Now, you can style it so it doesn't appear. It doesn't have to be visible on the page, it just has to be part of the page for the browsers to support this. You put the text inside of that input, you give the focus and select to that input, and then you call document exec command copy. This is how you would copy the text that's inside this input. So you have to have the input, the input has to have focus, then you call this copy command on that input. That's what's going to copy the, the text and put it into um, the clipboard. So you are limited to HTML URLs, text, things like that. Now, not great, but it does work. So inside of here, I can, um, let's reload this page. I can click on copy this. There was the input created and the content was pasted inside. And the copy, that is this line right here, line 83, the console log event. That is the copy event that took place. I click this button and when it called exec command, this is actually triggering the copy event. So the event listener for copy is running. It wasn't a paste, so I didn't get this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that content. I'm going to paste it inside of this div. And the way I can do that is there is a content editable attribute that you can add to any piece of HTML that you want. And then you can let the user come in here and change what they want. So you can actually change HTML on the page by just adding this. You let your users make changes. Now inside of here, I can come in, I can do a cut. So Command X or Control X if you're on Windows. There, I've cut a bunch. I can cut a bunch more. Now, my last cut operation, put this, what I removed, onto the clipboard. So when I paste, I'm pasting back what I just put there. So let's cut this again, paste again. So there we have it. Cut and paste is working inside of here. We could also 
copy. So let's say if I copy this second word here, copy, then I can do paste, 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 paste. You can see I'm just pasting the same word again and again. So copy and paste is working. Now that's a natural thing for the browser to be able to do. It's just because I've got content editable, that's how I'm changing this piece. So I'm going to delete all that. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to copy this again. So I'm copying that. It added the new input. It put the content inside there. And then it copied that to this last one right here. This last copy was the content being copied from this pre-element. Now if I come up in here, I can paste. And there it is. There is the content from here being copied in. All right, so that's the basic. That's the cross-browser supported. That one, you can try that out. This code sample, you can try it out on Firefox. You can do the same thing in there. So I can come in here and I can delete a bunch of stuff. Then I can copy this code sample, come back up into this first one and paste. There it is. So it works fine in Firefox. It's gonna work in Opera as well. Copy, paste. There it is. So it's working fine across the different browsers. Uh, this works in Internet Explorer and uh, Edge as well. Um, there's a new way though. It's not fully supported across all the browsers. So I'm going to comment this part out again here. There we are. There's a new promised based asynchronous version of this code. There, there. Fix that. All right, refresh my page. Clear out this. Now, the new version, it uses the promises based um, permissions API. I did a video on that one yesterday. Uh, I'll put a link to it down in the comments. Permissions-based API, there are two permissions. There's clipboard read, clipboard write. You'd want to give both permissions. So we can provide those permissions and let the user grant permission on the page. So I've got notifications set to allow. Great. Uh, I'm just writing that out. So when I reload my page, granted, that is the state right here. So granted, denied, or prompt, those are the three states. So I have permission, the user has given me permission to copy things and access their clipboard while they're on this page. Now there are a few limitations to this. The new version, it works in Firefox and Chrome currently. You have to be running it over HTTPS or on localhost. It won't work if you're just on HTTP. It only works if the tab that you're on is the currently active tab. Here's the uh, little tab right here. So if the person wants to change it, they can do it through here as well. Um, only on the active tab and uh, there's permissions for both read and write. So let's take a look and see how this same example would work, what we were doing before with the new promise based asynchronous version. They have in the navigator object added an object called clipboard. The clipboard object has four methods read, read text, write, and write text. Write text and read text are for dealing with text. Read and write are going to allow you to do things like copy images into there, images onto the clipboard and then transfer those over. And it'll give us access to the system um, clipboard as well, or pasteboard if you're on Mac. So you could copy an image in one application, come onto your web page, and paste it into the web page. You'd be able to do that. Or copy an image from your web page into some other application and you can control that with JavaScript. So this navigator clipboard object has those four methods. Read, write, read text, write text. I'm just using the text methods right now. Read text and write text. Um, first thing I'm doing is I'm getting the pre, which is, if you remember, the element that has all the code inside of here. And I'm calling write text which is taking this content and it's writing it to the clipboard. And that's why I'm getting this message copied to clipboard right here from line 53. This means that I took the text that was in the pre right here 
and I wrote that to the clipboard. The next line here, content in clipboard is this, content clipboard is, and I've retrieved using the read text. I have retrieved the information that was in the clipboard. So let's just refresh this page just to be certain that everything is fresh, new, and I'm going to come up here, uh, delete a bunch of stuff out of here, just to make this really clear, and then in this spot I'm going to paste. So Control V or Command V, there it is. That worked. I'll refresh again, come up inside of here, space, and paste. Again, there is the stuff from pre, because we had copied to the clipboard, that right text, just this line here. This one's not important. This was just to show that the stuff was in the clipboard. This is the one that's doing the work, line 51. Navigator clipboard right text. I am taking the content of this pre-element and I'm saving it to the clipboard. So when I come up here to the content editable div or paragraph and I do Command V, Control V, I'm pasting it. It's showing up here because this line of code had put it into the clipboard as the thing for me to paste. And then the last th line I have down here is just the same as what we were doing before. I add an event listener for paste and I'm using the new read text method to find out what was, what exactly was pasted. Now, I did con uh, control V here and I pasted this. So let's, I'm going to uncomment this one line inside my event listener. Save this, refresh my page. Okay, we know that the content in clipboard is this. If I come up here and I do command V, it says pasted text, so I know the function ran, but nothing happened up here. And that is because I had this one line, ev prevent default. Well, the default thing when you're, when you're pasting something is to actually do the pasting. We're intercepting that event and we're saying, hey, don't do what you would normally do. That's what the default operation is. So if you want to stop the actual paste operation from taking place here and you want to do something different, you can you have the capability of intercepting that event and doing something different with it. All right, so that is the new Clipboard API. Uh, this top part is the new asynchronous Clipboard API. And then down here, this is the old cross-browser, basically functional, um, for text-only Clipboard API. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, Maybe that prompts you to uh, build something with it. Uh, hopefully in the near future, we're going to be able to see these asynchronous clipboard uh, objects working in more than just Chrome and Firefox. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.